אוקיי, בשם השם נעשה ונצליח. We are going to do a lay shore for the neshama of my grandfather, Avraham ben Abdullah. My father's yurt site was just finished. A uh, few other people asked me to say Mrs. Eshrari's father, which his name is Yaakob, Yov ben Yaakob. And also, we are doing it Leilul Nishmat, the uh, my cousin's mother, which is your side, is coming up. Shalom Shlomo Leib. The Farzaneh Sarabat Yehuda. So now we're going to learn about the Mesilat Yesharim. To review, we said the four most important books every Jew has to know. To know what Judaism about is Mishnah Berura. Chumash with Rashi Ramban, Baruch Hashem. I wanted to bring your attention. Art Scroll did a wonderful job. You have to know the five books of Torah. The two most important commentaries on the Torah is written by a Sephardic rabbi, which was almost 800, 900 years ago, Ramban, the Nachmanites, and Rashi. Rashi is the most classical. You have to learn Mishnah Berura, which is the Jewish halacha. Shulchan Aruch with Mishnah Berura. Pirkei Avot. Ethics of our fathers with another great Sephardic rabbi's commentary, Rabbeinu Yonah. And now we're doing Alei Shor. He says the most important book to teach you how to become a perfect human being, servant of God, is called the Mesilat Yesharim. All these books are in English, thank God. Many different versions of it. Why is the Mesilat Yesharim so important? Because it's like the dictionary and encyclopedia for all the good characteristics, how to become close to God. And it's actually like, you know, Weight Watchers. The Ramchal, Rabbeinu Moshe Chaim Lutzato tells you A to Z. You do this, 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 step by step, it's like climbing a ladder. At the end, you get to Ruach HaKodesh. It's like a type of prophecy. That you're able to become so close to God that um, you know what you're talking about. So, by the way, Ravolbi here wants to say that we learn all the good characteristics from the Mesilat Yesharim, and it's in a very systematic way. It's like a science. The Mesilat Yesharim is coming to teach to you what the net result of all your Torah learning should be. And that's actually going to be my Dvar Torah on this week's parsha. The, um, we, we, when we learn Torah, sometimes people become like they have blinders on. They only see the micro. The Mesilat Yesharim tries to tell you, when you learn Torah, what should it lead you to do? It should lead you to be zahir. Be careful in all your actions. Right? Torah mevilide. Then after that, it should make you zerizut. It should make you run after all the mitzvot. Right? If you learn just Torah, actually I learned with my family, another very important book, Rav Chaim Kanyanevsky likes it, says it's one of the most important books, Rashid Chochma. It's very hardcore. Shlomo Lev, it has a whole chapter there on Gehinom. You love all these things about hell. So it tells you exactly what's going on, what happens if, God forbid, you go to hell. It, but the, the net result is somebody that, if, if you learn Torah, but you don't do the mitzvot, what is it worth, you know? Let's say you learn Torah and then somebody needs help, is dying of hunger, and you have money, you don't help them. So Mesilat Yesharim is trying to teach us that every, every day you need to look into your life and audit. You know I'm a CPA, you're studying to be one. You need to audit your life. Kojoy Karaman Milange. What? Am I... The Torah needs to make you grow, become like an angel. The Mesilat Yesharim is there to tell you, once you learn Torah, 
How does it make you become higher and higher and higher and better human being? Right? We human beings have one choice in life. Do we want to live our life like an animal? Like these people you see rioting and every night they sleep with another woman. Like, you know, they don't get married. They're just having... It's like they're an animal. They're just a sophisticated animal. Actually, my Rebbe, Harav Ben David, says the animals are luckier. If your life is just about pleasure, it, you, you, you should have wished to be an animal. You know why? Because animals don't need to pay 50 different types of insurance. Life insurance, health insurance, auto insurance. In life, you have one choice. To be like an angel, godly, or like an animal. Basic instinct and instant gratification. Oh, 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 I want to just have, you know, pleasure. So, Mesilat Yesharim is coming to teach you the Torah has to make you step by step get closer, closer to God. And he tells you, he guarantees it. If you follow his book, you get to a le level like an angel. You could tell the future. It's called Ruach HaKodesh. And after that, there's even a higher level where you could become so close to God that you could make dead people alive. We see this in Navi. Eliyohan Navi was able to resurrect the dead. Elisha did it twice. There's such a power that you become like part, you become godly. So you get the powers of God. Not God for Chasr Shalom, you're a God, but you get, you're so close to God that you get a lot of His energy. So, so the, the, the Rav Chaim Vilajaner, the founder of the first yeshiva, the most important yeshiva in Europe that had a dorm, was Rav Chaim Vilajaner. He told his most prized student, Rav Zunder Misalant, that the... There's many good books about Jewish ethics. Chovat HaLevavot. Each one has its own special energy. There's the book Sharet Teshubah, which I highly recommend. Uh, this year we're doing the Rambam. I, I just did Hilchot Teshubah. But he said the yeshiva world has accepted the advice of Rav Chaim Vilajaner, and that is the book of all books is the Misilat Yesharim. That's the book that teaches us that's our guide like to life. And I want to make tell somebody else, God willing, Shlomo Leib, next week we will start the Misilat Yesharim on Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Rav Volbe, the author of this book, I, was, uh, I learned from him personally, face to face in the Yeshiva Mir, he said something very important. Somebody had learned this time of year is the most auspicious and awesome time to be in yeshiva. I have a friend, Rabbi Avraham. He was a florist. He would close down his floral shop just to be in yeshiva. Because it's so intense and holy, the time of learning. It's so serious. The holiness is palpable. Somebody asked Ravolbe, he had finished the whole Mesilat Yesharim in a month, in 40 days of Elul. So he said, what's the next book should I learn? Or Chot Sadikim, Chobat HaLevavot. Rav said, you need to study the Mesilat Yesharim 40 times. The 41st time it's going to start making a difference in your life. So Mesilat Yesharim is different than any other book. It's a book that you need to learn through all the days of your life. Because we're on such a low level for it to affect us and make us like an angel and very high. It takes a lot of Time and review and review and review and review. Just like if you want to build your muscles, are your muscles going to become... So, so Ravob actually told the guy, he said, you learned it once, it's good. You even did, it's not going to change you at all. You, once you review it 40 times, the whole book, the 41st time it's going to start actually changing you. So, Hasair uh, Lomdo, it says if you're young and you're learning... You might think that it's just the elementary book, the Mislat Yesharim. But we have to understand, the great rabbi says the same way the Rambam, Maimonides, was the godfather and the prince to make the Talmud clear. The Ramchal was the greatest Kabbalist to make the words of the Arizal and Rab Shimon Bar Yochai clear. So all the words of the Mislat Yesharim have a very deep meaning. The Gra which said that he would walk barefoot from Lithuania all the way to Italy to learn from the Ramchal. That's how the greatest Ashkenazi rabbi, Salar, in the last 500 years was Rabbi Liyav Vilna. He said the book of Mesilat Yesharim is so important 
that he would walk barefoot without shoes all the way from Lithuania to Italy where the Ramchal was to learn from him because he's such a master. So Rav Oben says, no, make a mistake to think that his, it's a very, very deep book. And the more you review it, you'll see how there's a whole world of meaning in his words. He says, my Rebbe, Rav Volbe's Rebbe was the Mashkiach of Mir, Harav Yeruchim. He says, my Rebbe would say, He says, actually the Mesilat Yesharim is the summary of all the Kabbalistic works of the Ramchal. The Ramchal has many works, like Dad Tevunot and Derech Hashem, and many, many works. Have Omer Kikolom, it says, all of Mesirat Yesharim is based on Kabbalah. But he says, if you don't know Kabbalah, you think it's just a simple book. Because he's like Rambam. The, the Ramchal has the same power as the Rambam, just like the Rambam was able to organize the Talmud, which is so hard to understand and to clear, Ramchal was able to take all the philosophy of Kabbalah and organize it in a very clear and concise manner. So to make, to make a long story short, the Ramchal brings us into the inner... I always say that I felt so bad this year. And a shout out to my good friend, Ephraim Goldberg, Moshe Feinstein, Eliel Zari, and the whole crowd. This, every year, one month in our shul, we have a yeshiva, we have Project Seed, but there's a lot of learning. We have half a day of learning. And it's, they're so precious, the B'nai Torah, those that devote their life to learn Torah the whole day, in Kolel and Yeshiva, they're so precious. I miss those days being around them. But there's something even higher than that, and those are the B'nai Aliyah. People that are not only devoted their life to Torah, but they devote their life to becoming better every day. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an unbe unbelievable cap capacity and capability to grow and become a whole different and better human being. So, he says that, So he says, once you learn the book and review it and review it, it will start making a lot more sense and become practical. He says, actually, even if you learn Mesel Yesharim when you were in your 20s, you should learn it in your 40s and 60s. Because after you learn Kabbalah, he, he teaches you how to... Mesilat Yesharim, very simply, is how practically the learning of Torah should change every decision you make in your life. And you shouldn't be a simple thinker. You should think and audit yourself deeply. Right? To make sure everything you're doing is for the sake of God. Everything you're doing has no even 1%, not even 1% of sin or unethical behavior. And he says, So, if you want to become a person that is not a faker, that doesn't trick yourself, that your, your, your service of God isn't superficial... I have to say, the law, there's a lot of people with very long peyote and they have a black hat, but they're not really in love with God. They don't fear God. They're just, you know, social pressure. A lot of what they're doing is not real. It's just they're like robotic. And so much even worse. There's people that, unfortunately, it's known that they don't even believe in God. And they wear a black hat and they have... Right? So the Mesilat Yesharim's goal is to make you a real servant of God. Right? The real enchilada. That's what I miss about my father. Yesterday, just a few minutes ago, his yard site finished. You have to be an authentic person. Have real fear of God. Real love of God. Not just something that you... Okay, if you're living in, living in, in Brooklyn or B'nai Brak, everybody is orthodox, so you just go along like a sheep. But if you really, really want to become close to God, he says, you have to know, put a lot of time in, a lot of, it's so, so unfortunate that in yeshivas, the, the, uh, the class that's devoted to self-improvement, 
a lot of times people take for granted and they make it a coffee break. He says that's wrong. So he says the four years that you're in yeshiva, in high school, or after high school, you really should learn and review these four books. Mishnah Berura, the Shulchan Aruch, with the commentary of the Mishnah Berura, the Torah with Rashi and Ramban, the Pirkei Avot. I would say, just like the good old days, you should even memorize everything. Because you know, in the ancient times, people would memorize everything. The Torah was an oral Torah. And of course, the Mesilat Yesharim, and of course, these books are very important, but most of our day has to be based in studying Gemara, Rashi, Tosfot. And then of course, once you learn how to learn, we have to spend most of our days getting to the halachic conclusion, which is only possible with the Tur and the Bet Yosef, and the Shulchan Aruch, the Shach, the Taz, or the Magen Avram, and then the Mishnah Berurah, Bir Halacha. Then you look at the Teshubot, the Poskim of Rav Avadiyah, Rav Moshe Feinstein, but we hope everybody has a meaningful night. Uh, Shlomo Leib, God willing, after I have dinner, around 8.30 Pacific, we'll do Mishnah. Thank you for watching. Have a great